So it could be a title decider. 53 laps to come. It's lights out and away we go. And Verstappen crawling away from the start gets away, but not as well as Charles Leclerc on the inside. Esteban Ocon getting a bit squirrely, as is Sebastian Vettel. In the turn one we go. Verstappen is ahead of Charles Leclerc. Leclerc trying to find this one, but as they now head towards the S's, it's Verstappen who's leading from Charles Leclerc. Sergio Perez ahead of Carlos Sainz, and then Esteban Ocon in fifth ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And the start, Verstappen wasn't as quickly away as Charles Leclerc, but by the time they hit the first corner, he was ahead. Is a Ferrari off, and it is it's Carlos Sainz into the barrier and out of the race. And a safety car before the end of lap one. That is Alex Albon, and he too is out of this race. And we've just seen a replay of what happened to Carlos Sainz. Yeah, crash. Oh, crash, that crash. You just saw at the bottom of your screen Sebastian Vettel off in the gravel. This is what happened to Sebastian Vettel. We saw him just edging towards the grass and getting a bit squirrely. He can barely see where he's meant to be braking and he makes contact, doesn't he? I got hit by Alonso. Really bad, really bad. This is Alex Albon. Oh no, he actually had a failure. Yeah, he's stuck in second gear. Oh, I took a thing, what the hell is that? Oh, oh my god. Safety car. I don't know, I got, I got something stuck, I can't see in front of me. He could barely see a few feet in front yeah. of him. Yeah. As uh, Joe goes round. The pirouetting Joe Guan Yu nearly collecting uh, Alex Albon and the Williams before uh, he got going once again. But we know that Alex Albon came to a stop uh, very suddenly after that. This is into the hairpin. Yeah, you can see how the rain intensifying and just too much for the intermediates. The red flag, the race. With the rain intensifying, race control have taken the decision uh, to bring out the red flag. Race will resume at 4.15, ladies and gentlemen. In 10 minutes time, race will resume. Well, as Max Verstappen then reaches the final corner, we'll see if anyone does come in uh, to the pit lane. But we're racing again here at Suzuka. The Japanese Grand Prix is go once more. Verstappen leads the way then down into turn one. Charles Leclerc follows on in second place. You could barely see Charles Leclerc as Max made his way into turn one. Then comes Perez, then comes Ocon, then comes Hamilton into the pits. Sebastian Vettel and Nicholas Latifi too have decided at the back of the field to take the gamble and go on to intermediate tyres. Yeah, totally the right call. It's just uh, you want to be the one that gets out of the pits. First, Sebastian, has he done it? Just. Is that, is that a safe release? Well, they're running alongside each other, and Latifi hasn't had to put his brakes on. And now, well, who can get the power down fastest? Sebastian Vettel is ahead of Nicholas Latifi. Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc, and this is where uh, the crews can make a huge difference. George Russell's in, Perez, Ocon, Alonso. Uh, no, he stays out. Hamilton also into the pits. Decent uh, stop there for Max Verstappen. The double stacking there for Checo as out comes Charles Leclerc and in comes Lewis Hamilton. And down the main straight, Max Verstappen on the intermediate tyres, getting past uh, the Haas of Mick Schumacher as Alonso feeds back into the race in eighth place. There was plenty of room to run side by side. And talking of side by side, and now ahead, Charles Leclerc gets past the Haas of uh, Mick Schumacher. This is giving it, you know, it's great for Lewis now. He can get a good run on, uh, on Ocon. Ocon probably doesn't even know he's there at this moment in time because there's so much spray out there, but he's down the inside of, uh, of Mick Schumacher. Charles Leclerc now makes it 4.2 seconds, the gap between Verstappen and himself. Hamilton goes around the outside of the final turn and puts his car, his Mercedes, up into the top five. George Russell and Yuki Tsunoda going through the S's here. That was, uh, that was textbook. George Russell gets past Lando Norris up into the points. We're on board with Lewis Hamilton now. Towards 130R we go. Are we going to get a pass through 130R in the wet here at Suzuka? They almost touch Hamilton and Ocon as Ocon defends for all his might. Hamilton under braking. Can he find a gap? No. That was the moment. Just going into 130R and almost made contact. 
on the very last lap. Could it possibly happen? You never know. Sergio Perez oh. is giving it everything, trying to get past Charles Leclerc. Goes down the inside. It's imperative for these two that contact is not made. Certainly for Charles Leclerc, who doesn't want to crash out of this race like his teammate did right there, because he would be out of the championship, and that would be the end of his title hopes this season. As it is, they don't touch, and Charles Leclerc stays ahead of Sergio Perez. Max Verstappen has taken the chequered flag to win the Japanese Grand Prix. It's a 12th win of the season. Meanwhile, Leclerc goes across the rumble strip. Perez tries to get him on the outside of the final corner. Leclerc comes home to take second place ahead of Sergio Perez. They might have a look at that in the stewards' room after this race. Yeah, so Leclerc's braked. He's just outbraked himself and gone straight. Hey, what are you doing, mate? He went off and he pushed me off. He came really unsafe. Charles Leclerc has been given a five-second time penalty uh, for leaving the track and gaining an advantage. It gives Verstappen a 113-point lead. Because the race resumed after a red flag, full points could be awarded. A 30-second career win, then, for Max Verstappen. Same as Fernando Alonso. A second world title for Max Verstappen. He is champion of the world in 2022.